Hello again. Today we are going to again take a little journey away from uh, Desmond Tutu's Children of God Storybook Bible and we're going to look at a book that's new to me that I needed as a reminder so I thought maybe you might need it as a reminder too and you may have heard of it before. This book is called Grumpy Monkey and it is written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. So let's listen. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into a lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy, me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why the frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You could swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You could roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You could stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie with us in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. <sighs> Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. 
I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with a porcupine, said Normie, Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts. I'll probably feel I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a, it's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And already he felt a little bit better. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to feel our feelings and also help us to know who we can turn to to be honest about our feelings, like our parents, our friends, those at church when we're able to see them or talk to them on the phone or do Zoom calls with them. And help us to use our feelings to do something with them, like reach out to someone else or to do a chore around the house. No matter what, thank you for always loving us. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a good day, even if you're grumpy.